Hello everyone. So today we are going to implement uh, offensive AI attack mode and defensive attack mode for AI characters. So here I have this AI mode set to defensive for all these characters. It's defensive. Uh, so when I set it to defensive, uh, when they see an enemy, what they are doing is they try to move back move away from the enemy and keep shooting so let me show the demonstration now they shoot but they are trying to move away see they are trying to go into covers and keep shooting so try to shoot at me from a distance right so if I change this AI mode to offensive, let me change the default value. Now all of them are offensive. So here they will not move back, they will keep shooting at me and they will uh, stick around the player. they are not moving back they stick around the player right so that's what we are going to work on today and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for your support all right so as the first step let's go to the Folder where I have characters are. Um, it's here. Yeah, here I'll add a new enumeration. AI mods. So here, so the reason I did I am not going with the boolean is there could be uh, more than two modes. Basically, we will implement offensive mode and defensive mode. But later on, maybe we will need like something like retreat mode. To I don't know, we might need. So I have a feeling that we will need more than two modes for attack modes. So first one is offensive and the second mode is defensive right okay and yeah let's go here uh, in the NPC character I'll add another variable AI I'll just call it AI mode and put it under AI this should be in the type of AI mode by default it would be offensive and I'll make this public so that we can change this in the editor <clears throat> so this AI character is controlled by this LS AI controller and ultimately we need to get that AI mode into this behavior tree uh, this behavior tree which is this one that runs by the AI controller on the blackboard. So here I'll add a new enumeration key. I'll call that also AI mode. Key type is enum and uh, enum type AI modes. Right. 
so we need to update this AI mode blackboard key with the value we have in this NPC character so for that we can update blackboard keys from a let's say a controller but we need a way to pull the AI mode value from the ALS NPC character so for that in the CLM BPI NPC interface I'll add a function get AI mode under AI and return type should be AI Type also AI mode. Right now, here we can return data compile. Yeah. Get AI mode. We can simply return the value of this AI mode. Right now. In this ALS AI controller, we can access the blackboard and set the value as uh, Ina. But first, we need to get control phone get AI mode. and update the blackboard value with this value set value as in now the key name is collateral name What's the name did I use here? AI mod. Let me copy that with the underscore and the value comes from here. Right now, mm, let's go here to our behavior tree. And first, let's look into the shooting part. This is a sub tree, so let's go inside that. This is is uh, EQS query. This is where we get the next cover location uh, the char character wants to move to. So what I'm going to do is, if the character is in offensive mode. Uh, when the character choosing a cover location, it will choose a cover location that is closer to the enemy or closer to the target actor. So here, to run the EQS query, I'll add a selector. This is actually uh, I and let me connect this EQS query here. So this is actually uh, EQS cover location. There is no difference. So here EQS context is locked actor on visibility and distance to courier prefer lesser and distance to locked actor prefer great so that means the character is trying to move away from the lock actor because this is prefer greater so I'll rename this EQS cover uh, defensive Right. 
and let's duplicate this and let's rename it eqs cover offensive right now let's modify this to distance to the courier prefer lesser should be fine and distance to the locked actor it should prefer also lesser so in the offensive mode character is always trying to stay closer to the target actor that's the idea here right now this is uh, defensive uh, another one on eqs for it here i'll select offensive eqs query so we need to select this offensive one if the ai mode is offensive and similarly defensive one if the ai mode is defensive for that we need to have a decorator to compare the ai mode of the blackboard so let me add a decorator pt decorator blueprint paste let me rename this So right perform condition check AI and I'll add a variable uh, AI mode BB BB stands for blackboard. This should be a blackboard E select <coughs> and another variable. This should be in the type of AI mode. So if now we can get this uh, blackboard key AI mode uh, as uh, in enum get value as enum, and we can see if this is similar to this given enum okay. if these two are equal we can return true so whatever the result of this will be returned mm. right now we can use this decorator in here decorator oh, wait let me change the name of this Compare AI mode. compare AI mode with and see if it is similar to offensive similarly same decorator if defensive this part will be executed okay now here we have multiple characters so to make it easier to test Shall we reduce some of them? Oh, maybe no need to reduce. We can see, see their behavior. So if they are in the offensive mode, they should stick around the player so that they can keep shooting. If they are in the defensive mode, they should uh, try to move away from the player in this case. So by default, we have offensive mode. Now let's check. Okay, 
so they are not they keep shooting and, and keep close to the player as here see okay uh, now let's change the behavior to defensive let's change to the default value so that since I haven't overridden any of the values the AI mode for these instances are also set to defense right now let's check so if this is working correctly they should be moving away from the player why should they and yeah as you can see they are trying to move away they still shoot but this is a defensive behavior they shoot while moving back and try to shoot at me from a distance all right so i'm gonna stop this episode right here but we can further improve this offensive and defensive behavior by introducing this uh, changes to the EQS query to this flanking behavior as well but I'm not going to do that in this episode I will look into that in a future episode and thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club See you in another episode. Goodbye.